People at Azusa Pacific University are proud of the football program that Victor Santa Cruz has built. The people come first, and he calls it the one blood football family. It permeates into everything the program does. Came out one day building champions while pursuing championships. And in that tagline right there is some, uh, is really summarizes our whole ethos of who this program is. We're going to build the player to become a life champion because a life champion can produce success in multiple arenas in a consistent manner. And then the journey of pursuing championships, we want our football program to be the best in the country every single year. The pursuit is really where the rubber meets the road. Uh, the pursuit is where the details are taken care of. And the pursuit is where people grow up and begin to know more about themselves and, and discover that, that little extra that takes to be extraordinary. Whatever moment you have, give it everything you got. Give it your full attention in that moment. Whether it's your relationships, your work, whatever your hands find to do, give it your full attention. We got a quick turnaround in the, in, the, in the locker room, coming back out. We come on out, gentlemen. All right, you just unleash everything. Give your teammates everything tonight. It's not about you as an individual. It's about this one blood football team. All right, give everything you got. You're a bunch of warrior men. Play like it tonight. It flips right. the paradigm of what football is from um, what can you do for me, um, how are you going to advance my career, especially in the college game, how are you going to make this team win, to how are we going to prepare you to be the best person that you can be and perform at your best. And I, That's always been the focus of Coach Santa Cruz's coaching philosophy and how he teaches us to coach. And The, the tension between winning and people matter um, shouldn't be as polarized as it is. You can have both and the way we do football I think brings out the highest potential of all of our players and so I can be great right now in the field but how are you going to be great and then translate that greatness into professional development into personal development into being husband and father and that's always been the the goal of what we've done here and what he's spearheaded into making this program be even from while Santa Cruz praises the program, his assistants and players point to the man leading them as the source of their collective identity. One of the greatest determinants of the kind of leader that you have is if everybody speaks the same language. Um, and not in a militant way, but if everyone believes and buys into what you're doing. And I think you could sit in any recruiting meeting that we have with a parent, whether Coach Santa Cruz is there, whether it's myself, whether it's Carlton or, or Revis or Riddle or Danielson, and you'd hear the same things coming out of our mouth about our program, that we're, we're into developing young men. Very professional, well-spoken. Um, spoke about his faith and, and he was a great man of Christ and, and just that was a, a, probably one of the most lasting impressions I had of him. Uh, he, was, he, he spoke about his conviction to, to lead young men and to lead a program and uh, it, his intentions um, with why he was a coach was really kind of what struck me at the very beginning. I think he's been a very strong leader for us, um, someone definitely you can look up to. It's great seeing his family around and his kids around uh, so you kind of see that father aspect of him. And he's made this football program the surrogate home for, for a lot of these young men. He's very intentional uh, about who he is, uh, about how he portrays himself, and, and he lives out what he says. So. Great job of reflecting also the mission statement of the university as well, putting God first. And so um, the trickle down naturally happens into the assistant coaches, the coordinators, the assistant coaches, and the players. And so he does, he has his fingerprints all over the program with. Um, developing young men, um, the relational aspect. It's of, rare to find a, a coach and a boss who is continually sharing how he's growing in, in, his, in his walk with the Lord and his personal life and professional life and uh, I, I respect that a ton about him. Since 2013, the Cougars have posted a 26-7 and overall record and posted back-to-back -back GNAC titles in 2013 and 2014.